the new one's got a, a programmable B axis on the back end there, so you can literally program like five axis stuff. So you know, like little um, impellers in turbos. Yeah, you can actually machine those on here if it's small enough. You know, the the example I saw actually getting machine was an impeller actually being turned on one of these machines. It's a, a station that drops down there, the B axis they call it, similar to that, but it's a programmable one, so it'll actually program and it swings through about 120 oh, so it degrees. it becomes like a five axis milling machine. A five axis milling machine. So then you've got your C axis. Oh, so I was with thinking that. it was still turning the workpiece on a stationary tool. No, fully driven tools then. So oh, fully driven tools, that's what you call it, right? Yeah. Okay. So th this is a full, this is a driven tool on the front. Got driven tools on there. So with the engraving that you saw on the bolts was from the engraving tool there. So we're actually engraving, and what it does, it, it manipulates it with the C-axis. So the C-axis on the spindle will turn as you're going. So if that's a, a fixed head that way, it can come up and down with its X-axis that way. Yeah. But then to make it go that way, it has to feed the bar out. So it's sort of like doing all this. So that's fully simultaneous then? Yeah. It's not like a four so, plus one or... So then what the... That'll be the trickiest machine in this place then, would it? Oh yeah, it'd be a cracking machine. When's that coming? Uh, Monday. 50 quid's not buying that? No. No, you need a few pound notes for that. But yeah, this